In this video, we'll go over how to safely operate a jointer. Before using a jointer, make sure you are wearing eye and ear protection. Avoid wearing baggy or loose-fitting clothing while operating power tools. A jointer is used to mill rough lumber when used with a planer and a table saw. Rough lumber is usually not square, both on the edges or on the faces of a board. When used together, a jointer, planer, and table saw can produce square lumber. A jointer squares up a board's face. The opposite face can then be run through a planer to achieve square faces. A jointer can also square up a board's edge. After the jointed edge can then be run along the table saw's fence to achieve a parallel edge on the opposite side. Using properly milled lumber, will help you produce professional projects. You'll also enjoy your time in the shop even more. Only solid wood should pass through a jointer and a planer. Never pass plywood, particle board, OSB, MDF, acrylic, or any other goods through these power tools. These materials are constructed using glue and resin that can damage carbide cutters in a jointer or planer. Similarly, reclaimed lumber should not be used with a jointer or planer, as these materials may include hard-to-spot nails or staples. Before you start jointing, check the fences to make sure they are square. If they aren't, adjust them until they are square. Set the cutter height. Ensure you aren't taking off too much or too little material. You may want to use a test piece to check the alignment of the fences and the blade height. Make sure you are using materials that are meant to pass through a jointer. You can also adjust the forward and backward position of the fence to accommodate face and edge jointing. Turn on the dust collector and open the blast gate to the jointer and close blast gates on tools not in use. Once the fences and cutters are adjusted, Place your workpiece against the fences on the jointer at least a few inches behind the blades. Turn the jointer on and feed your board while applying steady downward and inward pressure as you push the workpiece forward. Support the workpiece by using push blocks, which will help you maintain pressure, especially on longer boards. Push blocks also help you maintain a safe distance between your hands and the blades. Apply consistent forward pressure. Remember to clean up your work area when you're finished. If you have questions about procedures or materials that should and should not be used with a jointer, contact the Woodshop Champion. Make Salt Lake is a community full of experienced makers, so don't be shy.